Okay, for this video I wanted to rebuild what I think is my favourite thing that I've really managed to achieve with the Helix. Now, there are other things that you could now use to do this, but they use a lot of DSP. So, for example, you could use the Poly Sustain uh, in the Delay block. Go into Mono for that, and here's what this would end up doing. Uh, if we go into Stomp Mode, uh, and if I press this... What you get is if you hold your chord, you can use the poly sustain to do that, which is pretty cool, right? However, it uses quite a lot of DSP. Um, and if you do choose to use that, you won't be able to do too much else. Now, a few kind of setting up things. Um, I've got my expression pedal here. EXP FS ring. I'm using a Boss EV30 here. Well, that's an accident. Um, and the other thing to do is to change the foot switch 5 and 4 function to something other than toggle EXP. Um, so I've just got it set to change foot switch mode at the moment. You'll see that when you plug it in, um, that will therefore act as if you just switch the thing. Or it won't, but normally it would. Let's start off with some things so an amp and cab what i'll go for is i think the derailed ingrid um this is quite a cool little amp so something that can do a good range of tones based on your picking technique or picking amount. I'm going to turn up the reflections here. Big key to what I'm about to do is that it's going to take up a fair amount of um, space, DSP, these sorts of things. I'm going to also use the Glitz reverb because this is quite an efficient um, block to use in terms of DSP. Um, so we get Okay, so that's kind of two aspects of what's going on here. So now what I want to do is the first thing I'm going to bring in will be a swell. So you could use the vintage swell, you could use the Adriatic swell, or you could also use, let's try this one. I've never tried this one before, uh, the auto volume echo. So uh, what I'm going to do is move this though down to path B and bring it back just before there so we're gonna give ourselves some space to work so now what we're gonna do let's set the mix on this to 100% and then so you hear that's kind of swelling in and sustaining the next step is we want to bring on something like this so I'm going to set in a mono volume pedal onto path B action path B and we are going to actually set it to be the opposite way around so we can control position exp2 but we want our max value to be zero and our min to be a hundred and what this does is it gives us a volume pedal that is kind of the opposite way around. So when we got it uh, heel down, we got it fully open. And when we got a toe down, we're essentially closing off this path. Okay, so then what we also want to do, and I'm going to move this split if I can move that way um, this is the next kind of key part to this freezing thing um, I'm gonna add in my favorite delay for this is the dual delay um, and I'll show you why in a sec but move this down to path B and we experiment with some different times um, 
the things that we want to control with our expression pedal now are left feedback, right feedback, left mix and right mix. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to say left feedback controller EXP2. Now with our heel down we want this to be zero and with our toe down we want this to be 100 and then right feedback same thing min to 100 then left mix I like to try this sort of 15 and 100 right mix 15 and 100 and maybe even with the feedback we might just experiment with keeping the left feedback so that you've got some so that you have like a little bit of a trail when you stop freezing this will all make a bit more sense in a second probably right so now what do we get heel down we get this <laughs> For some reason I'm not fully calibrated so I'm just going to save this and if you're not fully calibrated I think just a simple reboot can get you the job done in terms of getting your back to having your full sweep of the foot pedal I think that's how it works anyway I wasn't recording any of that cool yeah now there we go that's a bit better so let me just bypass this block and I'll show you where we got to to start with so first of all the amp by itself would sound like this Then with our reverb. And then our auto volume. And then once we bring in our delay and stuff. we have a, a, a fully functioning kind of freeze thing um, and we can control the level here with B so if you want a quieter thingy do this here so now And then the other thing we could do is control the B level um, with the expression pedal as well so that you don't necessarily hear as much of the dry or this little wet path in this kind of way. So let's just press save on this. This is where I blend it and I'm going to turn off modulation.
other things that we can do from this point though, um, you could add in some sort of modulation. So if you like the sound of this sort of thing, um, let's go with this. So number of steps, uh, we'll go for two, four, two, four, and you get this kind of thing. So if we go action B, um, then Or you could do things like that kind of thing. You could even put on like a warble, so from the legacy. Or like a tape eater. really really clever stuff let's keep that saved and then let's just explore a couple of other things that I could do to add to this so I'm going to add a loop pedal in stereo uh, we'll go with one switch and I would put this after like so um, and then also I'll assign that to this foot switch if I press this okay and then the other thing that you could do if you don't have an expression pedal, what we could do instead is assign all of these things that I've assigned to this volume pedal. Um, so let me just save this first and I'll show you. If we hold this in and we go to controller foot switch one momentary, and then we go to our next kind of thing, find the ones with parameters and foot switch one moment is what we want foot switch one moment foot switch one moment foot switch one moment and then we got this parameter up here haven't we um, which should be B level foot switch one moment so now you see that hopefully this should do <laughs> Has not worked how I want it. Um, so let's set the problem there is that's gone to plus 12 dB and we want it to be like minus 10. We don't want it to be momentary, do we want it? Maybe we want it to latch. Latch.
set these back to be the other way. That's the issue. Right, let's try that again. So, and again. Then you'd hold it without playing to clear it. Now obviously it's a little bit more seamless if you actually do have an expression pedal. But yeah, I just wanted to make it kind of obvious how I've built these things. If if you wanted to try these, these are going to be in the expression folder. Um, but yeah, all you have to do, play the notes that you want to sustain. And after you've attacked, depress your volume pedal. Um, so... Yeah, that's my favorite thing to do with the helix to be quite honest um, I maybe might even add a little bit of a uh, actually no here's what we want so we can do everything with our volume knob here what I want to do as well is I'll go into my um, command center and this foot switch one I'm gonna set up to control my looper and I'm gonna change the playback speed to half full speed toggle speed is what we want and then we can do some really fun things with this so that's what I was using in the introduction let me know in the comments if you want me to drop this into the folder um, this is what I like to do with an HX stomp when I have a few free minutes to myself I'll catch you in another video soon and thank you for stopping by cheers <laughs>